All right, and we're back with weekly update number 19. Let's start off with a good note, and we're going to harvest some onions first. All right, so we got our onions over here, and most of them most of them have fallen over at this point and actually have browned at like that fall point, which means they are not going to grow very much more now. So let's get them out and see how, see how we're looking. So let's start with like this one. Oh, pretty good size. So we're looking pretty good so far. Got quite a few of them. And they're all pretty decent size. We might let the rest of these grow. Uh, they're still looking green and they haven't really fallen over. So we'll let the rest of these go. We have the rest of this area to plant some more and tons of onions to store. So I started cutting down the broccoli. So I just cut it down at the base. Um, I don't want to rip up the broccoli because that will disturb all the microbiomes underneath the soil. Um, so we'll let the roots stay in there and decompose. We'll throw the rest of it in the compost. And then I can try to plant something else this year uh, to use up this space. The cauliflower over here doesn't look as bad, but I might end up having to uh, let me show you. Might end up having to take that out as well. Some of the leaves are, yeah, I don't know. Might just have to take out all of it out. But just look at these leaves They're being destroyed. So I'll try to replant some broccoli this fall uh, and see if I can do something to keep off these cabbage worms. Because that's, that's what's killing them is cabbage worms. So I've now cleared out most of them. However, I had some Brussels sprouts back here, um, and ooh, look at that, that wasp. This wasp is grabbing one of the worms. You need to be doing that earlier, buddy. So I've cleared off all the leaves, which is their food source so we had cauliflower here uh, the broccoli I actually cut that all down um, it was already going it was already starting to grow and bud cauliflower hasn't budded yet I'm gonna try to get some more leaves on the cauliflower but I'll cut off their food supply for now um, so hopefully we can stop the pressure and then I'm gonna spray these I'm going to spray the rest of the Brussels sprouts off and top of the cauliflower uh, with water just to wash off any remaining worms. So it hasn't even been a few minutes after I sprayed those worms up and look. They're already climbing back up, looking for their meal. Uh, these Brussels sprouts, they can still eat those, so it's a kind of a problem. Look at this guy. He's going to the top. He knows, he knows what's up. So what I'm going to try to order is something, because they have to come from the ground. I spray them off, 
I need a way to keep them off of here. So I'm going to go check if I can find something online that will help keep them from climbing back up. Try to keep a straight line. <laughs> 